Well, since the pandemic, job fairs and job expos, they've become even more important than ever. The Reedsville Chamber of Commerce knows this all too well, and they decided to create sort of a hybrid event to help out local businesses as well as the consumers themselves. I spoke to President Diane Sawyer to see what they're up to. Take a look. So, Diane, let's talk about, you know, how the kind of read the temperature of the room, what's happening in Rockingham County from a business standpoint. This will be our second year post pandemic that we are hosting this event. It's our 14th annual business expo, but we have the addition now since last year of the job fair. And the reason we did that is because a lot of our workforce has shifted and our folks just don't have the staff. So we added the job fair piece and it's been tremendous. We, we had last year multiple people hired on the spot day of. So obviously this event is meant to kind of help things grow, help businesses grow, help people have exposure to the businesses. Describe what this looks like. So the Expo, very excited about it. Name and sponsor, Tri-State Steel. He's a returning sponsor. He is actually somebody who hired two people on the spot. He'd been looking for somebody that was bilingual for about five years. He found somebody at our event last year. That was the piece that we added, but it's on top of what is our traditional business Expo. We've got about 65 vendors, um, both inside and outside, working with the Piedmont Triad Regional Council. We're going to have the job bus and NC Works, so we're going to have resume writing on hand, but also, it's just for our nonprofits to show their, their, you know, the needs and the things that they're trying to do and provide in the community. It's for our businesses to show, hey, these are the products and services we offer in your community. I feel like our job is to educate the general population and to try to keep our young people here. And you drive by these businesses and you drive by these industries and you have no idea that baby wipes that you buy pretty much no matter where, they're made right here in Reedsville. Trying to let people know like what's right here in our community and that although we're rural Reedsville and Rockingham County, we have a lot going on. So if you kind of peek into the crystal ball, the economic crystal ball for Reedsville and Rockingham County, what do you think next five to 10 years may look like? We are just seeing tremendous growth. Our chamber is up to about 440 members, which is very large for a city our size. Um, and we just we just continue to see people opening businesses and becoming entrepreneurs and expanding their businesses. And five to 10 years, I say interstate plus casino 20 minutes away in Danville, um, <clears throat> plus people who are just putting a lot of uh, effort and cashing their chips in on Reedsville. Those things are going to continue to come. And when the interstate's official and that blue shield goes up, it's going to be awesome. Diane, thanks for talking to us. Good luck with this event. This sounds phenomenal. Thanks, Eric. It's a pleasure as always. A lot of things happening. Yeah, she was saying that um, they've seen probably the most growth in the short term that they've seen in a long time and new industries moving in. I love the way she terms the interstate. She goes, when that blue shield goes up, <laughs> you know, we're going to see a lot more traffic and a lot more people. So Rockingham County, she said, if you're looking to buy land, now is the time to get it in Rockingham because they expect this growth around Reedsville. Huh, so I need to make an investment that's, is what you're telling what me. she here. said. It'll be worth <laughs> a lot. I mean, there is so much going on in the northern part of uh, Guilford, but down it, up into Rockingham County, True. thanks to the casino going on in Danville and then also you know we've heard a lot and talked a lot about the villages at Summerfield Farms uh, that's being built even if you think about it if you think about PTI and the growth over there true. that will absolutely spread into Rockingham County there is just so much going on up there and we should see a lot more of it in the future I mean really if you think about too the the Randolph Mega, uh, Guilford mega yep. site like sure. the southern parts it's all around the central parts of the triad it's so. crazy how fast mm -hmm. it's growing I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping track of all of them which it's is true. a great thing it's a good right. thing yeah. right. As they say, by land, they're not making any more. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back.